what's good everybody and welcome back to my channel fg2g here and on today's episode of me experimenting with the things in the kitchen uh we're gonna be making dessert pupusas all right so let's get started So once I put the peanut butter inside, you know, I was like, oh boy. Cause the, the goal was always pupusas, right? But when I realized that the mixture was just a little bit more moist than I assumed it would be, I got a little nervous, you know what I'm saying? I was like, well girl, maybe you just need to just strive for an empanada instead. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Just do what you can do. And I mean, that works, you know, it's just very delicate, but Sticking with the original plan of making a pupusa works better, which is just, you know, you can form it into a ball with the peanut butter as close to the center as possible and then just flatten it out from there. So, you know, don't get nervous. Anyways, I did end up putting them in the refrigerator about 30 minutes and I think my goal with that was just to firm up the peanut butter a little bit so that just in case there were any leaks, you know, during the frying process, it wouldn't be immediately. So my conclusion of it all, all right, in the words of David Fung from Fung Bros, it was good, but I hesitate to use the word fire, okay? Now, in hindsight, you know, I would probably use just a little bit less water than I did, but do keep in mind if you're using coconut flour, it absorbs quite a bit of liquid. Um, but yeah, maybe just a little bit less water. I would also double up on the allspice, for me anyways, just because I really enjoy that flavor and it, it could have been stronger than it was. Uh, so maybe a full teaspoon of that, and then maybe a little bit of honey or sugar. Just And that just depends on how sweet you want your dessert to be. Now, I will say in this dish, uh, the sweet potato and the coconut flour, those are not you know strong flavors, however, However, they do add to the fiber content of it all. So, I mean, what's wrong with that? You know, having a little extra fiber along with your cozy dessert. Now, listen, this isn't a health food by any stretch of the imagination and thanks. But, I mean, that's a cool, fun, tasty way to get a little fiber in with a little dessert. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, overall, I thought it was good. I only made three of them and then just decided to freeze the rest of them, you know, to make at a later date whenever I want to, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, I challenge each and every one of you to look around in your kitchen right now, or you know, when the video is over, 
uh, look around in the kitchen and see if you have any ingredients that maybe you bought for one particular recipe or whatever and you don't use them anymore and I challenge you to take those things put some thought into it and and be creative make something because it's always a fun fiscally responsible thing to to use what you got and don't waste all right but like I said it, it's also fun you know and if you do feel free to tag me on Instagram or or even in your YouTube videos, if you're a YouTuber. Yeah, I would love to see. And it might be inspiration. Let's inspire each other to have fun in the kitchen. Peace.